It's four o'clock in the morning. I've made it to Owensboro, Kentucky. I'm in the middle of a field behind St. Magdalene's Church. These parishioners have come together to carry out a nearly 100-year-old tradition of making burgoo, which is a stew. And for the next 12 hours, I'm going to be witnessing how it all comes together. Sean, I'm not the first guy who's probably asked you this, but what is burgoo? Burgoo is a soup with a mixture of uh, three different kinds of meat, mutton, beef, chicken, and probably six or seven or eight different kinds of vegetables. Has the recipe changed at all over the years? For the most part, it's, it's the same recipe that gets handed down from family member to family member. We do this as a fundraiser for the church. It's, it's a good chance to get together and uh, have good community involvement. Can you tell me what you're doing right now? We're starting to make the broth as well as get the meat cooked and we're taking the mutton to the saw, getting it sawed up. Well, it's six o'clock in the morning and we're on to the next phase. We have the chicken and the beef and the mutton getting parboiled for the burgoo. And now the guys are working on prepping the veggies. You guys need a hand? So why do you come out for this? Because my wife makes me. <laughs> I don't believe that. You don't? Come out here, work hard, cry from the onions. Yeah. What makes it all worthwhile? Uh, the friendship, camaraderie. All right. How's it going, Sean? Pretty good. How you doing? How are things progressing? Uh, According to plan? Yeah. I think we're actually a little bit ahead of schedule this morning. It's because you got all these good helpers, right? I don't know. Got plenty of people on hand. We got good fresh ingredients, right? That's right. Got a great day for it and we're in good yeah. shape. Well, it's 8.30 in the morning, and now the guys are taking the meat out of the kettles. They're going to pull the fat and the meat off of the bone, and then they're going to grind it up, and then we're going to put the veggies and the meat and everything back into the stock, and that's when the burgoo really starts to come together. 350 pounds of mutton, 840 pounds of chicken, 420 pounds of beef. And at the end of the day, this will all add up to 700 gallons of burgoo. Hey, Sean, I was wondering where the, uh, where the pasture is through all this. Right there. That's him right there? He's working? This tradition is kind of unique. Why do you think it's so important to the community? Well, I think it's the only time during the church year where you can get the community together. It's almost like a big family reunion. Is that more important than the fundraising aspect? Oh, that's much more important. The money comes and goes, but the friendships and the relationships will last for centuries. Thanks, Father. You're welcome. Well, it's 4 o'clock in the afternoon here in Owensboro, Kentucky, 12 hours after we started the process here in this shed, Sean and all the rest of the St. Mary Magdalene parishioners, and I'm holding in my hand the product of all that hard work, a gallon of grade A prime burgoo. It's good, it's good, it's very rich. It's got a lot of that mutton flavor, lots of potatoes. It's hearty, that's what I'd say it is. Well, thanks for having me, man. It was, Appreciate it. It was amazing. To get a great burgoo recipe, and to upload your own recipes and food videos, log on to yahoo.com and search real food.